Today I'm going to show you how to easily set up AR Foundation Remote 2.0 to live preview your AR scenes in Unity in an easy way for fast iteration. Now if you're developing anything in AR, I definitely recommend this asset because it is so annoying to have to keep building to your phone constantly and they have a ton of great features here along with supporting the new input system. Here you can see all of their supported subsystems and you can also test gyroscope and compass right in the editor along with testing cloud anchors. So to get started first, you need to purchase that asset. And then we want to go to window package manager. Then under my assets, you're going to want to search AR foundation and we can just import that into the project. And if you don't have that downloaded, just download that first before importing. Then here, just click import and that will take a few seconds to load up and download. All right. And now if we go to our assets folder and we go to plugins, AR foundation, You'll see there's this little installer, which is a scriptable object, and we want to click install AR companion app. For this, we want to make sure our phone is connected to the computer. In my case, I'm on a Mac, so my iPhone is connected to the computer. And you also want to enable developer mode on your phone because we are going to be building an app to the phone, which is called the AR companion app. If you don't know how to do that, I have several videos in the description, both for iOS and Android. In the case of the iPhone, you just go into the settings, privacy and security, and then you scroll all the way down to developer mode and then you turn that on and you might have to restart your device. And so once you've enabled developer mode, then we can click the install AR companion app, which if you go to the console, there might be an error here. And that's because we didn't switch to our build target. So we have to go into file build settings. And then here we switch to either iOS or Android. In this case, I'm going to be switching to the iOS platform, which should be relatively quick. And I like to check development build just because it's easier to build without having to set up keys. Then we can go back into the installer and click install AR companion app and make sure your phone is connected to the computer and unlocked along with enabling the developer mode. And so Xcode should pop up since we are building to our phone. And we do need to set up our provisioning profile here, which I have this on my other video if you don't know how to do this. So I'm just going to enable automatic signing and then switch my team to my personal team that I've created. And then I can press build again, which is the little play button on the top left. And whoops, seems like I have too many apps and I don't have the developer account. So I actually have to delete one of the apps that I have. All right, and so now once you've built it to your phone, you should see this app pop up and you can just click allow here. And then here we'll have a list of IP addresses. This is important. And so once we have that list of IP addresses, we want to go into our edit project settings here. And under the XR plugin management, there's an AR foundation remote with a AR companion app ID here. And you'll see that it has some digits already filled out. We're going to want to fill out the rest of the digits. So in the application, you want to find the digits that match. In my case, it's 0 0.105. And so back in the Unity editor, I can just add 105 at the end. And if this isn't working for some reason, you can always try the different IP addresses. Sometimes that works. And make sure you keep the app, the AR companion app open on your phone for this to work properly. All right, and last setting here is under the XR plugin management, we want to go to the Windows, Mac and Linux settings here, and we want to enable AR Foundation Remote as a plugin provider so that Unity knows that it can use this on our desktop as a player. And so once we are done with that, I have the sample scene open in the AR template here, which has some of the components already set up. And so there is a setting we need to change under the AR camera. It does not support a tracked pose driver component. So just remove that component from your AR camera. And then we're going to want to add an AR pose driver instead, which it does support and make sure your game resolution matches the resolution of your phone or it will throw an error. If you don't know the resolution of your phone, you can just select 16 by nine portrait for now. And when you click play, it will tell you the actual resolution of your phone. So if we click play and make sure the AR companion app is open on your phone and your phone is connected. And so then on your phone, make sure to click OK here. You should now see the preview of the 
phone up here in the editor, which is really cool. And you see these little dots. That's the AR plane mesh visualizer. So if we go into the scene view. You can see we can now see the planes in the scene view along with where our camera is located, which is really useful for debugging. And then if you go into the console, which is under the window general console, then you can see the resolution of your device, which is 117 by 2532. So then under the game, we can just go into the resolution settings and add that resolution if it does not exist. If you scroll down, I'm just going to add an iPhone label and add a fixed resolution with the new one, which is a little difficult to see here. I'm just going to change the layout to two by three. And then I'm just going to add in that resolution, which is 1170 by 2532. Click OK. And then we can select that as the new one right there so if you click play now that warning will not appear anymore and now we have an awesome preview app <laughs> and so if you don't have the input system installed i recommend installing it if it didn't install it already and so if you are using the new input system one other thing i recommend is going to window going to analysis going to input debugger so we go to the options and click simulate touch input from mouse or pen that can let us press on the screen and simulate touch input with only our mouse, which is useful. However, you might not need this already with the AR Foundation remote, but just in case that's not working, you can try doing it through the options here. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And thank you to my patrons for their support as usual. And if you do want to purchase this asset, I have an affiliate link in the description. It would help me a lot if you used my link. And so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.